Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to discuss about percentages. In previous grades, we have studied how to calculate discounts, commissions, profit, loss and simple interest. And all these five topics are directly related to percentages. In this grade, we are going to find out how to calculate interest on reducing balance and the method of calculating compound interest. So let's get started with interest on reducing balance. Interest on reducing balance is calculated when we are unable to settle the complete amount of a certain object we are planning to purchase. The purchase price is the price of the object we are planning to purchase. So as we can't completely pay the amount, we initially pay a certain amount of this purchase price that is referred to as the down payment and the remaining amount we are going to pay by monthly installments. So the remaining amount is referred to as the loan. Once when the loan is divided by the number of installments, the monthly loan can be calculated. The annual rate of interest is the interest at which the loan is given per annum. It can be divided by 12 in order to obtain the monthly rate of interest. With the help of the monthly rate of interest and the monthly loan, we can calculate the monthly interest. Then we have to calculate the month units using the given formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Once when the monthly interest is multiplied by the number of month units, the total interest can be obtained. The loan and the total interest together gives you the total amount that should be settled back in order to get released from the loan. So the total amount is divided by the number of installments to calculate the monthly installment. So this flow diagram will help you to have a clear idea about interests on reducing balance and which will also help you to calculate any given part of the question with the relevant data. So now let us look into some problems related to interest on reducing balance. A television set of 38,000 rupees can be purchased by making a down payment of 8,000 rupees and the remaining must be paid in six monthly installments where the annual rate of interest is given as 12%. So we have to calculate the monthly installment if the interest is calculated on the reducing balance. So our first step is to find out the loan. We know the purchase price is given, down payment must be subtracted from the purchase price in order to obtain the loan that is 30,000 rupees. Then what we do is we calculate the monthly loan by dividing it by 6 because we have to settle this loan within 6 monthly installments. And then we calculate the monthly rate of interest. Annual rate of interest is given as 12%. So once when you divide it by 12, you get the monthly rate of interest as 1%. The next step is to calculate the monthly interest. We know the monthly loan and we know the monthly interest rate. So the monthly interest is 50 rupees. Now the number of month units must be calculated using this formula. N here refers to number of installments. So as we know, it is six installments. Once when the values are substituted, you can receive the number of month units as 21. So then if the total interest is number of month units into monthly interest, that gives you 1050 rupees. Now we know the total interest. And we know the loan. So once when they are added, 
you obtain the total amount that must be paid back in order to get released from the loan. So if this is the total amount that should be paid within six installments, within one installment, you can find out by dividing it by six and that is 5,175 rupees. So this is how you use the previous structure in order to calculate the monthly installment. Now let's look into another question of a different form. Here, the purchase price is to be 30,000 rupees of a washing machine. The down payment is 5,000 rupees. This must be settled in 10 equal monthly installment where one monthly installment is 2,720 rupees. Now here you have to clearly understand the monthly installment is given and we are questioned about the annual rate of interest. So here we go to find out the annual rate of interest. First of all, let us calculate the loan that is the purchase minus the purchase price minus the down payment which gives you 25,000 rupees. Next, we take the monthly loan as before and then the total amount that is paid is 2720 multiplied by 10 because 2720 is the monthly installment that is paid for 10 months. So here we found the total amount by multiplying the number of monthly installments into the monthly installment and then Therefore, the total interest. We know our loan is 25,000 rupees. The total amount that we have paid here is 27,200 rupees. So, once when you subtract, you get the total interest that is paid. Now, we calculate the number of month units by using the previous formula. This gives you 55. So, in 55 month units, 2200 rupees is paid as the total interest. So here we can find out the monthly interest by dividing 2200 rupees by 55. So that gives you 40 rupees. So this tells the monthly interest is 40 rupees. Now we know the monthly loan, we know the monthly interest. Therefore we can calculate the monthly rate of interest like this. And then if you know the monthly rate of interest and if you multiply it by 12, you will get the annual rate of interest as 19.2%. So this is how you work out a question which is asked in this form. And now I'm going to move on to compound interest. When you come to compound interest, it is different from simple interest because in simple interest, whatever the time period the interest is calculated, the loan do not change. But in compound interest, from one year to the next year, the loan increases. So let us see how this happens. The loan for the first year is multiplied by the annual rate of interest in order to see the interest for the first year. Then when we calculate the loan for the second year, the loan of the first year and the interest of the first year is added like this and this will give you the loan for the second year. Now for the second year you can see that the loan has changed. Then once again we multiply this by the annual rate of interest in order to obtain the loan, the interest for the second year. And then when you add it with the loan for the second year, you get the total amount that must be paid after two years in order to settle back the loan. So this can be continued to the number of years questioned in your problem. So let us see a question related to compound interest. A person takes a loan of 25,000 rupees at a compound interest rate of 10% per year. Calculate the total amount required to repay the entire loan in 3 years. So here remember 
step by step we have to calculate the loan for each year along with the interest right let's get started <coughs> loan for the first year is 25000 so interest for the first year will be 25000 into 10 over 100 that is 2500 now in order to see the loan for the second year we add the loan and the interest of the first year so that gives you 27500 now let's calculate the interest for the second year 27500 is our loan and that is multiplied by the same rate before this gives you 2750 rupees as the interest for the second year now we add this amount with the loan of the second year in order to see the loan for the third year so 27500 plus 2750 gives you 30250 rupees as the loan for the third year so since the loan is being paid back after three years that is at the end of three years we have to calculate the interest for the third year as well so the same process we do the same method of calculation and find out the interest and then we add the interest with the loan for the third year and this is the total amount that must be paid in order to settle the loan at the end of three years so hope i made myself clear about calculating interest on reducing balance and compound interest see you with another smart math tip until then goodbye